and it's a brand new uh, video series, New Features in Audacity 220. It's an invitation to try out audio editing with me, Mike Downs. Now, to get ourselves uh, completely started, what we need to do is say that Audacity has completely been relaunched on the 2nd of November and it is at version 220. Now, in this video, I'm going to be looking at this screen and only dealing as quick as I can with two areas number two themes and number eight help button so let's get cracking with it because I really do believe that if you try out audacity it's one of my biggest um, videos on YouTube about cleaning bad audio but that is a different story the story today is looking at first of all the different look if you've never seen audacity before or you want to try your hand at audio editing the classic look is like this watch closely edit preferences we go to interface which is here and then theme classic dial in light and click OK because although it's an audio pro program when you are looking at your Windows machine your Mac whatever screen you're looking at it's quite important you have confidence in looking at something that you like and you know that works now you can see the buttons have all changed at the top I've got a lovely track here which is a free track called HTML and it's from the YouTube audio library let me just play it because it's quite a good track but you'll see how audacity works with the bar going across so play <laughs> Now, I was getting into that a bit because I started to say, right, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm not a very good audio editor, but I seem to get by. But I'd like to learn lots and lots more. And what I'm getting at here is I'm starting to use Audacity or have been using Audacity the last few years. And I'm starting to get happy and comfortable with it. I will show you one more theme. Not all of them. There's about four different themes. This one is the dark theme. Because when I said about confidence... This I know in my heart and my head that this is the same program, but it freaks me out a little bit and unsettles me because it's so new looking. You might find that that is a great look and you think, wow, this looks really cool, which it, which it is. Um, so if I play that again, I get some music going on. But my point of it is, is the whole thing has changed to dark now. Let me just quickly go back because I did say that this video is going to be as short as it can and that is that help button is a big deal and that is that what they've added in Audacity, the brilliant team behind it, is help buttons and if you notice on the right hand side it's got a question mark and that means that if anything you're unsure of now we'll have a help button immediately in where you try and look for help because that's the most difficult thing to understand. In other words finding help quickly. Um, now let me just edit preferences. You're getting the idea it's going to be interface when it opens up and then back to classic. I, I'm doing this because I just want to settle myself and get my confidence back. Meaning right that's my normal look. Now remember if I wanted to say I was going to I won't do that. I was, I was going to say that I wanted to select something and everything. That's another, another lesson shall we say or look it up. What I mean by this is, uh, okay, I've got the track. I want to go effect, amplify. Remember, this was just about getting help this lesson. Select the audio. And normally you'd go, okay, and you think, well, well, what does that mean? If I want some help, I click the help button, the question mark. Notice the help that is opened up is the C drive. In other words, it's the local copy of help. If you want to look for some more updated help or you need to go to the, the website and see what is there. In other words, there's a set of online help and I'll show you how to find that. So you'll notice now that you've got selecting audio, the basics, and then it goes down to various things about, um, well, that's selecting audio, isn't it? It's interesting because when we looked back, remember, let's try a different one. Let's say if I wanted to do an effect which I always use of normalize a track select da, 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 click help see what opens up there it's still the basics isn't it if I wanted to go through to say effects and then I think I looked at say amplify then you can click it and you can see the same button my example here is merely to show you exactly what um, 
the help buttons do and where to find them. So let's finish this video because if you want to get started and you've never done it before, go to audacityteam.org where you'll find this lovely page and in it will be download 220. You can see it's available on a bunch of different things and I want to stop this one because I'm doing pull stretch next. So pull stretch is in effect by the way. And so this was the new features on Audacity, video number one. Please, please try out some audio editing because it's the most requested thing. What people want to get right, because if you can't hear anything, then meaning you're not going to be understood, are you? Sorry for that very bad pun. Goodbye.